Liverpool v everybody. Um, that's a tough one to take, man. I, I, it's away at Chelsea. I think. I mean, in most circumstances, a draw isn't the worst. It was just the the, the matter of which we went about how the game went and how we got the draw. I think um, going up 2-0, losing that lead, and then really just not really looking great from then on. Sure, we had moments here and there, but after the 2-0, it was almost like we just gave up on the game, quite frankly. Um, just sloppy in the midfield. Even defensively, we looked out of it. You know, I know this isn't Klopp's way, but and Klopp wasn't there, obviously, but that's still his team. Let's, let's not get it twisted. It was Pep Linders there, but um, I know it's not his way to take his gas to take the foot off the gas and maybe just be a little bit more pragmatic. Um, but when you two up, I mean, I, you got to figure out a way to to keep that lead. I mean, we should not be dropping points in games like this at this stage with this team. You know, the majority of this, these players are still there. Obviously, one or two of their guys are somewhat new, comparable to other players that have been there for a while, but. You know, just like the Leicester game. I mean, th- these games, you know, it's just there's no reason to be dropping points in these games like this. You know, um, two nil our way to Stanford Bridge. I mean, you would have thought at one point we were playing at Anfield. You know, um, the way we were able to just be loud and support the team, get behind the team. But that feels like an, an L, and, and particularly coming after the game at Leicester, which we all know we just beside ourselves with that one. But this was a big game, and you felt like whoever was able to get. Three points here could go on and, you know, well, I don't know if I'll go, go on and do anything, but at least get that much closer to City. Um, City would have saw this game and thought, great, you know, um, back to work. And, you know, we're, we're still a, a good distance from both of these teams. Um, coming away from it, um, Chelsea was coming into the game. Chelsea was above as They still are with that one point. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, it just felt like Chelsea were the team they were going to get that third goal, honestly. I mean, again, we had my moment here and there, but... You know, we're one of the best teams from set pieces, but none of the set pieces today, in my opinion, from what I remember, uh, were, were great. Then that one at the end where Simicast battles um, uh, to get the, 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 the corner. He's lifting the lifting his hands, telling the fans to get up, and then you put in a very poor corner. You know, it just it's just unfortunate, man. I think, um, you know, for as good as the game was, I mean, as a Liverpool fan, it, it doesn't feel so great, but, I mean, I, I'd imagine – a neutral watching that game, a City fan, or whoever fan watching that game enjoyed the entertainment of the game. But, you know, we just, yeah, there were moments there, and this is just right in my mind. So I'm not really trying to dig him out, but you know, Fabinho today was poor to me. You know, moments where he just was just careless on the ball, very lackluster on the ball, getting it stolen from him. Luckily, most of those times we didn't, nothing came from it. But I also thought the goalkeepers, both of them, were good today. But But even with that being said, for us at least, you know, Mane has a moment there. Um, where he's got to just make the k- keeper work a little bit more for it. He does make him work for it. He's got to stretch to block it. But, you know, that's something where you got to just pick another corner and, and, and get that goal. Um, Salah has a moment where, again, their goalkeeper comes up big for them. He's a great keeper. We get that. Um, but this one, it's just it's just frustrating, man. It's just really frustrating. And I'm the type of supporter that feels like it's not over till it's over. Um, but after this result, it does feel like it's going to take a miracle to, to pull anything out of this. Um we talk about the guys who come out to start the game. You know, you think about Milner. I've been on Milner. Well, more so about Klopp bringing on Milner in certain games. Saw him in the lineup, and I thought, oh, man, against Chelsea, why not start Ox or Naby from the jump? Been watching some other videos. I watched some other videos at halftime. A lot of people saying things about Milner. I thought Milner was good in terms of what he does. I mean, I don't know what people are expecting from Milner. You know, if he's in the team, he's in the team. It's nothing you can do about it. So it's about what he does while he's in the game. And I thought some of the challenges um, he went in for uh, were really good. He did what Milner does. I mean, he's not a guy that you expect to come in and progress the ball necessarily. Or, you know, when he does do those things or get a good pass or a goal, which I don't remember the last time he's gotten that, it's more of a bonus. It's not something you expect from him. So, you know, um, I wasn't too bothered by I mean, when I see him on the on the, on the the team sheet, yeah, it's like, eh, okay. But as the game went on, particularly in that first half, I don't think he was awful. But maybe I'm seeing something different from other guys. But it's guys like Henderson and Fabinho to me that just didn't uh, didn't do a lot in this game to really put leave an imprint on the game, and so that was disappointing. Um, you know, the high line we know what it is, and and when it's good, and we're getting goals from it, and we're catching guys off sides, it, it, it no one has a problem with it. But I think too often 
it's been the Achilles heel for us. And it's been a way that teams can see we can really get at Liverpool with this high line. Um, and again, it goes back to what I said initially. I think when you go up 2-0, the idea, away from home, the idea is to keep that lead. You know, I had I had a whole halftime speech ready, you know, celebrating, smiling, dancing, singing, and whatever. But we can see goals in quick succession before that halftime comes. And it's just, that's unacceptable. The first goal, again, that's just the worldy, that, that, that can happen. It's still unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, could we have done better on that? Probably if I watch it back, but whatever. You kind of chalk that up to, you charge that to the game, whatever. That they, Those things happen. But that really lifted Chelsea. And I think Chelsea probably would have thought they were in that game in general, you know, um, and they just needed something. They got something, and then they just progressed from there. Um, so, yeah, again, I mean, you, they get that goal back, that's one thing, but then you just shut it off or you go and get another one. You make sure you go and get, just grab another one. Um, and again, moments where we could have caught them on a break, but one pass was off or we got the ball just stuck up under one of the players' foot or whatever. Um, Salah was trying. Mane was trying. Again, good to see Mane get, get back on the score sheet. But it just wasn't. I mean, even those changes to bring Naby and Curtis on um, or Naby and Ops, then Curtis, probably could have come a little earlier. But, look, it, it is what it is. Um, it's just really unfortunate, uh, particularly, again, off the back of that Leicester game. So, it's going to take a miracle to get this now. Um, City, again, um, they're, they're really just consistent. And, um, you know, again, in a game like they played yesterday against Arsenal, you know, for, first of all, you, you thought Arsenal were going to get that win. Um, I think they get the red card sending off Gabriel and then, you know, that, that goal at the end, which honest, honestly didn't surprise me, but it's just, you know, it just shows, you know, that, that that's champ, what champions do. Um, we do that from time to time, but... So they have that pedigree, and look, it's City. So much as we want to hate them and all that, they they are a machine right now, and um, it's a long way to go. And you'd imagine they would drop some points at some point. It'd be amazing, amazing if they just win every game, you know. But that's possible as well. So again, this was a game where we we had to get the three points. We had to get the three points, and um, now we're in a situation where we got to just hope, you know, even while watching our games, also looking at what Chelsea and City are doing um, because those are the two top teams right now in terms of where they are on the table. That just is what it is. So, you know, overall, just a disappointing day, man. Um, wanted to see us really, you know, make a statement today. And, you know, in that, in that early on in that first half, we look to be doing that, you know, going up 2-0, two, two great goals, one mistake by Chalaba. Um, but we capitalize on it. Mane gets his goal. Um, and then Salah does his two-step against um I uh, forget the, the 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 fullback's name on the team right now, but gets his goal. Beautiful. You're thinking, okay, this is it. This is it. Way to bounce back, and then everything just comes crumbling down. So I just think that the 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 squad, the manager, the Klopp in general, his coaches have had to figure out a way to, particularly in a situation like that, to you know keep that lead and win the game. You know that that two zero again away from home is just. Any other team coming to Anfield going up two nil and not winning. Um, even if they do get the point, it, that's a letdown, and it feels like a loss. So, be interested to see what, what Pep Linder says after the game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, honestly, Chelsea may feel like they, you know, missed one here too, you know, because they, they were the team that were definitely uh, carrying the most, the majority of the, the momentum um, there after halftime. And all the way to the end, it felt like, again, we had our moments here and there, but when you really, really look at the, 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 the way the game went, our moment was – that first 15, 20 minutes, we get the goals. And then pretty much from then on, well, about the 40th minute mark from then on, that was a game that I felt like Chelsea just um, were, were were the better team overall, if you look at the just the way the game went. So it is what it is. And, and uh, you know, after a loss um, against Leicester, you, you want to see us bounce back. Um, that's what every fan wants to see. Um, and we thought the bounce back was on. And then um, we just couldn't – we just couldn't keep it. So um, – yeah, quite devastating, actually. And, um, you know, I hope, I'm going to try not to let it damage my week. But um hope all of you all are being well. Um, shout out to all you guys and your family. So everybody's being safe. This COVID is real. So definitely be uh, protecting yourself and do what you got to do. But um, try to keep our heads up, man. I wish there was more positivity I can give. Um, I think we're all probably feeling the same way right now. Um, but, yeah, that's me for now. Um, Stanford Bridge, Liverpool 2, Chelsea 2. Um, Feels like a loss. See you guys next time.